another day some more red dead redemption 2 welcome back ladies and gentlemen to this amazing game we are pretty much just going to play as many missions as we can until i drop i don't know if we're necessarily going to beat the game i remember red dead redemption 1 having a really long ending i think there was like an epilogue in that game or something like that i just remember the end of that game being really long <laughs> so i feel like we probably have a lot more to go, but we'll try to play as much as we can. I think this episode is probably going to make me cry just like the other two. The last two episodes, maybe the last like three or four episodes have just brought me to tears, man. This game is beautiful. I love Arthur Morgan. I love this journey that I've been on. I've been playing this game for 62 hours and here we are still playing still and i'm not even doing all of the stuff there's so much stuff that i missed in this game purposefully and there's still more to go <laughs> there's still more that i could have done i could have easily put like 300 hours into this game easily and i probably will when i do my second playthrough anyways let's jump into the journal and see what's up okay we saw this Went to see the fella, Hamish Sinclair. He's quite a sportsman and outdoorsman. Went fishing for pike. Got him in the end. Wants to take me hunting. Hamish, not the pike. Why not both? What PD? Went to speak to the chief about the situation. I helped him recover some precious things from the army. He gave me some medicine which helped me a little. He's a man who not so long ago I would have found weak and pathetic. And now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. Totally agree with you, Arthur. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Captain Monroe. Saw Captain Monroe again. A good man in a difficult situation. This dump must seem a long way from West Point in Washington. He cares about the Indians, but he ain't too friendly with the local regiment. Helped him distribute some vaccines others were not so keen to offer about. Got a letter from Mary. What did I expect? What did I want? Weren't never meant to be and never really was. And yet somehow, in the end, I discovered I had a heart because it was broken. Oh, you fool. You sad, deluded fool. Torn in two by different ideas of who you were. And it turns out you weren't neither of them. Things went from bad to worse with the army. I was not wrong. The local regiment's colonel despised Captain Monroe and planned to destroy him. Charles and I rescued Monroe and probably ruined his life in the process. I hope he can find peace someplace. After putting him on the train, I bumped into that nun, Sister Calderon, bound for Mexico. She gave me a few home truths about existing in the world and perhaps the next. Maybe I have got something to hope for. Anyway, it all sounded very pr pretty and took away all the dread I've been feeling. That scene was so sad, man. When Arthur said, I'm afraid, my heart just sank. It sank to the lowest part of my body. <laughs> I was torn. Fort Wallace. Went with Charles to save Eagle Flies. They was, a go they was going to hang him, I think. Rescued him out from Fort Wallace in a storm. I don't feel so good. I see clearly and I see nothing at all. Whole place has gone to hell. Dutch talking nonsense and folk undecided as to if they see him as the only hope or an anchor dragging us all to the bottom of the ocean. I think it's the latter. I hope John has more brains in his head than sometimes I fear he does. I should have. Well, it's a bit late for regrets. There's a whole lot I should have done and even more I shouldn't have done. But I suppose every man has enough regrets as to let him die happy. Just hope I did some good once I learned to see the world for what it was. Ain't my fault the process took quite as long as it did. Oh, Mary, be happy. Please be happy. Tilly, Mary Beth, save Karen if she ain't too far gone. John, protect Abigail and Jack. Rains fall, save your son as you cannot save your people. Dutch, start listening to them as really loved you. Aww. Man, this has gotten really sad. So we saw Colm O'Driscoll swing. Indeed, we did the law's job for them. As his boys were lined up to spring him, but we dealt with them. Dutch back to being himself. 
at least for a moment. Sadie like a dog with a bone, although she ain't done with them yet. I don't imagine. Wonder this will calm Dutch down and we can get back to surviving ourselves rather than just killing them we despise. I didn't feel too much. Bastard wanted to kill me, but he didn't want to do that, too that much, and... I guess I felt about the same. He weren't ever exactly my fight, really, and now my fight is real different, with a different enemy, one I cannot see, nor put a bullet into. Him and his boys was our fault, alright, but did we ever exist, or were we just a group of individuals, each just falling for Dutch's dumb bluster? I feel like I don't know anything anymore. That whole life of certainties, over. My whole code that I lived and killed by, was it true? Or was there a bigger truth that I was too dumb to ever see? Mmm. I love the little picture of the deers. Because that's what he's been seeing lately. Hamish and I got to chatting. Then we went hunting. This wolf he'd been after. Only we suddenly realized the bastards were hunting us, not the reverse. Eventually, I got the pack leader and they let us be. A real lucky escape. Hell, nice though. What's happening? Is that it? I think that's it. And we need to go to our next mission, which is up here. The Micah mission is in the Van Horn trading post. All right, we should set up a camp and do a tr fast travel. Oh, man. I am not excited for what's to come. I'll tell you guys that. I don't want to beat this game because I know the ending is going to be bad. And the reason for knowing that the ending's bad is because I played Red Dead Redemption 1. And I know Arthur's not there. <laughs> I don't remember if John ever mentions Arthur. He probably does. I think Dutch was in that game, wasn't he? Didn't you have to kill Dutch as John? An RDR2? Wasn't he like the like the whole game pretty much? You were looking for him? And then I think at the end of the game you find him and then you kill him. I don't know. Maybe maybe it'd be worth it for me to play that game again. Now that I have the prequel knowledge it might actually be an enjoyable experience i don't think i would do it on the youtube channel though i might play it myself get the ps5 version of the game since it runs in 60 fps now and includes the dlc what's up micah uh, and bill there he is old black lung morgan shut up was you followed excuse me was you followed? You know who you're talking to. I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Because mm. it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Yeah. Turn things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Right. Wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. Yup. You better watch your goddamn mouth, boy. <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief way your head. Micah, shut it. He started it. Dad no, I did it. We is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We got to get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We got to confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine. Then you'll do Dutch's bidding. Which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit. Well, guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And Cowpoke. Take it easy. You could do with a vacation. Hmm? <coughs> What a clown. Right. 
let's go. Why does he move like Jack Sparrow though? Like his body language reminds me of Jack Sparrow. Jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. Hey, hold up a second. Uh oh. Let me get my hat. Pinkerton Patrol over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. Anyway, what was she talking about? Pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Well, that needed to be done. Did it? Right now, with the Pinkertons breathing down our necks. See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Gone soft. Yeah, sure. Okay. Let's hold up here. So. Wagon will be coming from that way, down from Annisburg. And it'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So I was thinking, you go play dead, and I'll take care of him. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and <laughs> I'll cover you. I got that. <laughs> I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. <laughs> All right, how do I get in here? Through here? There it is. Say your prayer. I ain't gonna do it. We're trying to hijack the dynamite. You're in a situation that needs to make a run for it. Not anymore. Let's go. That was clean work. You saw that? Every shot. Bang. Get on the wagon. All right, let's see if we can get this back to camp without blowing ourselves up. Nice shooting back there. I know. Drunk plane. Comes naturally. Ooh. I could use a drink after that. Yeah, I know. Just never goes easy no more, does it? I'm definitely the better shot. Uh oh. Okay, I'm trying. Oh, quick. They get off. I'm the lowest boat the kingdom come. I thought there was no law in Van Horn. Does that really matter right now, Bill? I'm already wanted dead or alive. What? What does it really matter? Still more behind us. Goodness. Uh -oh. I'm not. Okay, we need we need a better gun. Come on, come on, come on. Got him. Nice. Yeah, using the sniper there wasn't a good idea.
I don't see any more. All right. Huh. Oh, that was close. Don't reckon I'm cut out to be a dynamite wagon driver. <laughs> Killing a bunch of folks so we can rob some dynamite to blow up a bridge? This make any sense to you? It's a distraction. So it ain't meant to make sense. But it should to us. It's our plan. Right. You know, I've had it with the moment. Look. There's Micah up ahead. Great. Just the guy we wanted to see. So, you got it? We got it. Yes, we got it. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. Son? What's going on? Listen, I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah, whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. He says, stick with me and you'll survive. Sounds like he might have an ulterior motive here. I don't know. Yep. I don't like it. All right, let's go hang out with John. I like hanging out with John, though. Can't be upset about that. I just don't know anymore, man. Arthur, he's not about this lifestyle anymore. And he's starting to realize that. I see why you guys wanted me to read the journal. Because the journal does give you a really nice insight onto what Arthur is thinking at all times. And it's really nice to see that right now towards the end of the game. Because he starts really spilling the beans on how he feels. Hold up. There he is. There he freaking is. No! Gosh darn it. I'm not letting him get away. I'm not letting him get away. Yeah, there he is. He's naked, bro. Get on my face. Where'd he go? Where the heck did he go? No way he disappeared. Ain't no way. Not again. I turn around to shoot the wolf for one second and he's gone. There's no way. Where the heck? Hey. Well, he got away, guys. Again. Hey there, Stupid wolf, dude. This naked wolf guy. He's fast as all heck. He sends a little wolf buddy at, at me. And he runs away. He like disappears. He's like that, um, the little guy. I don't remember what his name was that we were chasing. He was dropping all the bombs and doing the magic. 
What is that wolf guy's story? He's just popping up everywhere. All you see is cheeks flapping in the wind and he's gone. happens at the beginning of Red Dead Redemption 1. I can't remember. Did John get arrested like at the end of this game? Like again? And then they released him in Red Dead Redemption 1? I can't remember. I just remember Pinkertons in that game. But I don't remember why John was where he was and where did he come from. I don't. Hmm. He was definitely in a predicament. I remember Abigail and Jack not being in the game until towards the end. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Whoa. I think we're almost there. There. Yeah, we were here at one point. Whoa. <laughs> we both said, whoa. Oh, here's the bridge. What's up, John? One of my favorite characters. Arthur, how you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> old blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Oh, hey, yes. You can... You could give something to Jack. Hey, Stider. Well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. Right. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay. But do it. For me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. I agree. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Help me with the rest of this. 
Well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Let's ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we. Ooh, I don't like this. To plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Sure. Let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. More enemies. More chaos. I mean. We're about to blow up a bridge, for Christ's sake. All right, stop. Here's good. <sighs> you sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. Oh, this is a pretty down there. You lower the crate. bridge right here. Look at this view. Let me know when you're ready. Got it. Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom of the ladder, here to your left. Okay, you should be good there. I'm ready, come on. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. Oh, I see. That's it. Nearly there. Okay, good. Grab the other one. John should run away, man. It's not worth it. He's got a wife and kids. Don't be like Arthur. Treat your wife and kids right. Not saying that Arthur didn't, but I'm just saying that like Arthur should have left okay. this lifestyle when he had the chance. Come down here and help me plant this stuff. Okay. Grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. Sounds good. John is pretty smart, isn't he? I like that about him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Almost jumped. I mean, I don't think Arthur gives him enough credit sometimes. I think John's kind of smart. Okay. I should go get the hand cart ready. You okay to finish off down here? Sure. Go on. I can handle the rest. I'll see you up there. This better work. It's crazy to see the dynamic between these two change because in the beginning of the game, Arthur was just so disgusted with John. He was just like, ah, this kid. And he would make fun of him a lot and like give him a hard time. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. But now Arthur like actually wants to take care of him and make sure he's all right. Nothing will. Hopefully this works. I feel like dynamite hasn't worked well for us in this game so far. I think I hear something coming, Arthur. Uh oh, I'm coming. Get up here quick! Yeah, I'm on my way. Oh crap. Faster, buddy, come on! Come on! Oh Arthur! A train! I see it, I see it, I see it! Quick! Pump this stupid thing! Hard as you can! I see it! I'm trying! I'm trying! Oh no! Oh we're dead! We're dead! We're dead! We're dead! Uh, I'm trying. <laughs> Jeez. That was close. Thank you. That was way too close. 
just ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. Let's do it. Ooh, like the 4th of July. Well, I guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. That's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. Nope. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money. Oh, no. Safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Don't do this. Well, you tell her she better make sure. No. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. Oh, man. I, I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Wow. I wish things were different, but it weren't us who changed. That's deep. yourself together man do your thing and that cough ain't sounding too good at all all right well we did that I guess I can go to Dutch now. Dutch needs to speak to me. Where's my horse? Dutch has changed. She's changed a lot. It's not the same Dutch we saw in the beginning of the game. That's for sure.
Oh, jeez. Hopefully they stop following me eventually. Why don't they just chase after the deer? There's just plenty of deer around. Yep. I'm getting real worried guys things are starting to wrap up what Arthur was just talking about right there with John <sighs> if they go find that money yeah. it's not gonna be good I really wish Arthur wouldn't do something like this, but I know his time is up and I know what he's talking about by a vacation. It doesn't have to end like this, Arthur, really. like the miner guy get a gold nugget yeah that achievement that i got the the honor story missions like complete all the honor story missions only eight percent of people on steam have that achievement i thought that was pretty amazing That means most people who play this game haven't done all of those missions on the PC, at least. Who knows what it's like on PlayStation? Yeah. What's the most hours you guys have put into a game? I think for me, I want to say I put like a good, was it a thousand hours in like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on the Xbox 360? I had to be well over a thousand. I just remember being really proud of it. I think a side quest popped up. Was it a Hamish one? Yeah, it was. You can see Albert Mason's drawings in the, uh, art gallery, which is pretty cool. Looks like Pearson made some stew. Is that Miss Grimshaw right there? I did what had to be done. I know you did. I'm not saying anything. Okay. Dang, the camp's looking really bad. That's the first time I've seen everything red.
What's Jack doing? You awake yet? What, Arthur? Sorry. You awake? What, Arthur? I need to sleep. My bad. Everyone's just sitting. Sad. So why are these two still here? Old pals of Micah's. They're getting real comfortable. We need guns for what's coming. Cleet and Joe know how to fight. <clears throat> it's lucky I bumped into them. What is going on, Dutch? What is happening to us? What's happening to you? You show him some respect. It's oh, shut up. Mr. Vanderlyn, Mr. Morgan, Charles, they try to kill my people for oil, for oil. Today we ride once more. Ride with me, ride with us. Ride with us against the factory. I love your courage, son. It is a thing of great beauty. Stop. No, it is not. Everyone, stop. My son, my last son, don't. When I was your age, I fought. I saw death. I have killed. The men I knew were slain. My firstborn, your brother, had his head smashed by a drunken soldier. My wife had her throat slit. I made peace. I knew not to trust, yet I had no choice. Maybe you were right. Maybe the slow death is worse than the fast one. Maybe none of these men are good. Maybe a world in which they came to us is a world that we cannot endure. But endure we must. Mm. Father, you are tired. Do not die for pride, my son. We have suffered too much in this trick. The earth, the water, they have no pride. They endure. And we must endure. My only boy, my precious boy, do not mistake my strength for weakness. As your chief, I implore you. Your words mean nothing to me, father. Don't. Oh, Try man. Stop. Please. There's no Stop. getting to him, man. He's made his decision. Please. Mr. Morgan, after you helped me after we spoke, this is just a trap. My son, my people will all die. You help this fellow, Arthur? Please. Of what course. Else? What else you been doing behind Dutch's back? What? The wars are what? over. What? We have lost. These young men will be annihilated. Please. I'll see what I can do, Charles. Who else will come with me? Oh, I'll ride, Arthur. Who knows what other secrets I'll learn about? Who else? I will. And me. Me too. Oh, and me. I guess. All right. Let's ride out. Dang, when was the last time we all rode out like this? It's been a minute. What else have you been doing behind my back, Arthur? I was trying to stop this mess from getting any worse. Maybe that didn't work. Why the hell would they attack the oil fields? What do you mean? It's perfect. This was your idea? Partly. The army, the government, the industrialists. They've taken everything from these people. They have. Now you want to fight back? You've handed them a death sentence. Just like John if we hadn't got him out of that prison. Hey, show some goddamn respect. You'll know when I ain't showing respect, Bill. I had a plan. I still have a plan. That plan what sucks. Plan? What goddamn plan, Dutch? Right. Tahiti? <laughs> Timbuktu? That's enough. <laughs> What's wrong with you all? What happened to loyalty? Yeah. What did? Thank you, Javier. Bill. 
Right now, it doesn't matter how we got here. These men need our help. I have a plan. This is the plan. So either stick with me or cut loose. Because I am tired of this constant descent. Long tired of it. Now come on. Loyalty is just a word that people use to manipulate. Look up ahead. It's one of them. Are you all right, son? Eagle flies. He needs help. They all need help. Quick. Somebody help no. him. No. No. Go. Please hurry. I'll be... Come on! Yeehaw! He doesn't look so good. these men and anyone see eagle flies there going across the walkway got what you wanted dutch you coming arthur i'm gonna try and save him this fight is unwinnable if you go and distract them and let me get to him have it your way the rest of you ride with me let's meet up at the factory let's ride yeah! go with him try and help there i'm better off alone we're riding with you come on then no way my people let's go when that guitar just kicked in let's go That scene right there was amazing. We need more scenes like that. The music was perfect for that segment. Sadie, go. Come on, man. Uh, red man. Got him. Get up. Thank you. All of you. We need to go. Where are my men? Where are my men? We saw some fighting by the factory. That's where Dutch is gone. Let's go. Quick. Uh, Any men we see, we must save them. Let's find the others. We need to get to the factory. Build. You thought we wouldn't fight? Call yourself soldiers? All of you deserve to die. <laughs> with you fools. <laughs> I love the banter. This is not far enough. Look out, where are they? Where's Colonel F Oof. Send them out here. Here comes Army train, look out! Oh, I almost shot him. Just in time. You got what you wanted. Get away from me. 
Oh! Gatling gun! That's bad. Very bad. I'm trying. I can't even see it from where I'm at. I wonder if I can flank it. Let's see if we can go this way. Possibly flank it. Oh my god. Ah, dang. Come on, get rid of that guy. I got an idea. How about we use some dynamite? Where's that coward? Famous. Oh, <laughs> that was perfect. Yeah. That's it. That was really cool. All right, where do we go next? We have to go down there by them. Get them moving or something? Or is there like another... What's going on over here? What? What's happening? Are we stuck? I thought we took out the army. Who could be left? I hear someone shooting. Hold on. They're hiding over here? Oh. Okay. This regiment is a joke. Where is he? This is it. Get off me. Got him. Thank you. Yep. Open. So let's get over here. Do this. Ah, he can still shoot me. Ah, he swings out a little too far. I think that's everyone. We got to get back to the gang, though. They're back over here. What? Dude, we played that perfectly. Eagle Flies has died. Oh my God. Somehow he died. I didn't even see any red dots over there. What the heck? Okay, yeah. The game definitely glitched there. Because that, that played out a lot smoother if you guys would have saw that part. Hey, Tuck. You're alive. Yes. For now. Come on. Let's finish this. Move up. You too, brother. There's Dutch. Jeez. Hold him back. Drive him back. God. Why was he point blank shooting a bow and arrow at a guy with a gun? God, Dutch, what the heck? God, Dutch is mowing him down. So good of you to join us. Hello, son. Hey. Saved your life. He did. Hey, you're quite the hero, Arthur, ain't you? Just a regular good guy. Same as always. What is it with you, Arthur? What is it? I don't get you. <laughs> I don't get you no more. Oh, the doubting. The doubting. Come on, get him out of here. All of you. Come on. Let's go finish things. Finish what? Oh, the doubts. You know why I wanted them to attack this place? I have no idea. 
Javier, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here. I'm staying with you. See, he cares about his men. Unlike Dutch. We need to find the office. It's upstairs on the other side. I broke in here before to get those papers for Eagle Flies. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money, you fool. The money. There's state bonds here. Lots of them. I thought you were paying attention. Pope Cornwall had a deal with the state. He was being paid to develop the region against the federal government's wishes as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so we get it and we're done? We're almost free? Yes. If we're right. We've had tough times. The toughest of times. But come on. Don't doubt me no more. What do you mean? Search the place. They gotta be here somewhere. They kinda have to doubt you. You've been weird. Check that cupboard by the door. By the door? There's some money. I got some cash. Not much. Nothing. I got him. I got him. This is it. You say bonds. How much? It's a, a few thousand dollars worth. Maybe more. <laughs> oh, we are nearly there. Arthur, we're nearly there. Mr. Morgan, let's go home. Let's get out of here, Arthur. A few thousand dollars? That's a lot. <laughs> How do you cash out bonds, though? I always wondered that. Is this something you can just take to the bank? Uh oh. Uh oh, favors. Your friend? Get in there. Shoot him. Find him now. Come on. That's not good. Come on up. Mister, we have got to get out of here. This regiment is a joke. Cover me, Arthur. Look who we got. Shut up. Shoot me. Alright, I'm not gonna deal with them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We got one! A white one! A white one? I need help! Oh! He left! I need help! Eagle flies! Nice! Dutch left me! Oh. oh my god. No. Oh, you, you silly fool. Come on. No. Okay, he's still alive for now. More than once. To give mine for yours. It says it should be. No. We need to go. You. You're a little. Oh, I did no such thing. Yeah, Don't you did. They could be back here any minute. We did it, gentlemen. Oh, we got some money. And with the train job. Well, we got a whole lot of money. Come on. Everything is coming together. Exactly as I planned. I've got to take the boy to his father. As you wish. Usually he is nowadays. Sure. Yeah, whatever. Come on. We got to get back to camp and prepare. Let's ride. I'll be back when I can. Oh, he Stay left him. And me, of course. And so will I. No, get out of here. Please. 
This ain't gonna be nothing nice. Be safe, Arthur. <sighs> All right, come on. Let's get him to what PD as fast as we can. He left him. Hold on, my friend. Our men. Uh, we must go back for the bodies. We will. Save your strength. My friend, I'm sorry. About this. About all of this. You have nothing to be sorry for. You know, Dutch. Dutch is. I guess my thinking is he used you. He wasn't trying to help anyone but himself and his own crazy principles. We're grown men. Nobody made us do anything. Maybe I'm talking for my people as much as for yours. We saw he turned crazy and, and we couldn't believe it and we followed him anyway. Wait, Arthur! <laughs> Catch up. Okay, stick with us, Arthur. So you were saying? They should never have gone this far. You've seen the situation on the reservation. Better to die fighting than sick and weak. Maybe, but you... Your people deserve better. Absolutely. You okay, Charles? Not really. All this death, and for what? Just so we can have enough money to be able to run away from what we've done? Right. There used to be some some reason to it. Lines that couldn't be crossed. We even helped some folk. Those lines have been gone for some time now. The time has come for us to draw our own lines, Arthur. Decide where we go from here. I swear, back there, Dutch just stood and watched. If it wasn't for Eagle Flies, I'd be I know. Dead. I feel like he's descended into the kind of man he told us never to be. Maybe. He's just become more who he really, really is. is. I don't know anymore. I just feel like a fool. That money, those bonds, whatever it is. I don't want a cent. There's too much blood on it. I don't blame you. This boy to his father. Your friend here? My friend? He's a brave man. He is. Fearless. Always has been. And he cares about others. This won't be in vain. We will try to round up more men from the north. Wherever we can. Many are ready to fight. No. This is over. For all of us. They need to leave. Peta. Yes. Peta. It's okay, brother. Save your breath. We're not too far. It's the chief's son. I think he's been shot. Oh no, he is wounded. Oh man. The way the horse is moving. Bring him to me. Hope they could save him. My son. Was Arthur and Charles crying? Oh. What are they gonna do now? They must move. And fast. I'll stay and help them. Yeah, I'll stay too. No, my friend. You have others who need you. Good people.
Here we go again. The water works. I'm sorry, but we we must pack and move. I've never seen Arthur cry. Getting picked up by random people. Drink, drink this. What, mother? Besser Englisch. Sie haben uns gerettet, als wir wirklich Hilfe brauchten. Wait. Und jetzt können wir sie nicht retten. Aber, aber. Were these the Germans I saved? <laughs> Are we in Annisburg now? Were those the Germans that I saved earlier in the game? When you do work for the gang, half this take is set aside for gang savings. I know that. Well, how much money do I have now? Oop, wrong button. Wait, I want to read that, actually. Oh, he hasn't written anything down yet. Okay. I wonder, maybe I shouldn't do that mission. Maybe I should just go straight to Dutch. What the heck just happened? What a roller coaster. I'm pretty sure Charles was crying too, right? Especially when he said bye to Arthur. Yeah. Maybe because he knew that was the last time he was going to see Arthur. Plus, the rain falls situation was a lot. Nobody was happy about that. Bro, this, this place is exactly the equivalent of rolling around in the hood, bro. You don't help nobody. You don't stop. <laughs> you do not stop. Something my grandma always taught me. Never stop in the hood. You know, it's real crazy is since I'm from the north, I'm from uh, Detroit, Michigan. Um, for anybody that's new, that's just tapping into this video. We would... A lot of my family is from Montgomery, Alabama, and we'd go and visit them. And we have like a pecan farm down there and stuff. Uh, my grandfather does. And my grandfather's built all kinds of houses in Alabama. So we have a lot of real estate in our family. So when we would drive from Detroit down to Montgomery, Alabama, my grandmother has been so conditioned because when she would do that drive when she was a young child you couldn't stop anywhere 
there was no stopping. I'm going to pause real quick, but there was no stopping because if you stopped somewhere, there was a potential that you could get kidnapped or killed or, you know, the races, you know, anybody who's racist will come up to you because if you're black and you're in the South and if you're in the wrong areas of the South, bad things could happen to you. So when she was a kid and they would drive down to Montgomery, Alabama, when you're going through uh, Kentucky, Tennessee, and some of those states, my grandfather would be like, nope, if you have to use the bathroom, he did not care. He ain't stopping. <laughs> he ain't stopping. So I remember when I was a kid, which obviously racism has gone by that time, right? When we would drive down to Montgomery, she would not want to stop for anything. Like we'd want to go to McDonald's. No, we can't stop. We'd want to go to the bathroom. No, we can't stop. It's just, I don't know. That, that's just how I felt right now. <laughs> that's how I felt right now. That's why I'm talking about this. Easy. Oh my God. That is terrible. My God. There he is. Oh my God. Really? See, this is what I'm talking about. You don't stop in the south. You just keep going. You guys see what I mean? This is what my grandmother was talking about. You don't stop. You keep going. And here's me trying to be curious like a cat. Little did I know curiosity killed the cat. Who goes there? This is me, John. It's me, Arthur. Well, look who it is. <laughs> Glad he's happy to see me. What's this next mission? What else could we possibly do now? You know. I'd be dead in that factory if it weren't for Eagle Flies. And I feel like Dutch saw and didn't do nothing. You gotta just look out for Looks yourself like you now, Arthur. I mean, here. I could be wrong. Yes. Uh, it, very soon. it all happened so fast. You're not wrong. Why don't you and your pals just get out of here? We got the train job coming up, Morgan. The big one. The big one. Yeah. Javier. Won't even sit next to me no more. Nope. And I will continue to not sit next to you. Hey. Hey, partner. Hey. Hey, mister. Well, at least you ain't run off. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. As they should. I think Mary Beth left as well. Good. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. Of all the time we spend to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna. <coughs> this is a tough time. And you ain't, you ain't doing too well. But we, our community... We will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well, then there maybe ain't we no can. Freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score. We got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more. And as long as a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan we rob uncle sam and we leave the government bro <laughs> the smart big brain what do you think it sounds wonderful does yeah, it yeah i ain't got much to lose but you know the women and the children 
and, and John and, and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will see to it. Huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? <laughs> sure. Okay. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists upon it. Yikes. Insists. He's not happy about that insist. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. I'm saying Arthur, Sadie, Dutch, those three characters themselves, each one of those voice actors and actresses need a, they, they need an award. <laughs> this, not just them, but I'm just saying like they stand out the most to me. Like, okay, ooh, some of the things that they say in their voices gives me chills. We're robbing a train in the middle of a city? No, yep. it's going to stop there, take on mail and water, let off some boys heading home on leave, and then it heads out. They know the bridge is gone, Black Lung. There'll be a patrol past Annisburg, waiting down by the river to collect the money. We sneak on quietly, and then we got a short time to stop the train before it reaches the patrol. Okay. John, you go get that dynamite. We'll meet back up outside of Saint Denis. I'll go with them. As you wish. As you wish. Okay. It's this way. I hid the wagon down here after we blew the bridge. This is one big goddamn group of us to be riding back into San Denis. Yeah. I heard the Pinkertons have pretty much taken over Van Horn. Moved a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Shit. Well, that's not good for us, John. Let me tell you. Okay. Should be just through these trees. There it is. <laughs> I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. You sure? I'm fine. Okay, it's in the back. Got it. Got it. All right. Let's get this done. No point in putting this off any longer. So listen, Abigail just told me the money, it's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even no way. than we thought. Are Abigail and Jack ready to leave? I think so. Okay. Whatever happens with this job today, <laughs> wherever Dutch and them go next, we're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all of this will still mean something. <laughs> Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. You've always had my back, Arthur. Uh, perhaps not always. Not always. Anyway, here we go. One last train, Arthur. One last train. How many times have we heard that? Gentlemen, 
I got us a river boat. We'll head up to New York or Chicago and get a real boat from there out to the tropics. So long as it isn't Guarma, <laughs> it'll be paradise, son. It's all coming together, Dutch, just like we planned. Is that okay with you, John? Arthur? Or do you insist on something different? Sounds about as good now as every time I heard it before. Oh, Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she is. I could just see her in the little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Ew. Boys, boys, okay now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, San Denis. It's good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Mackie? That's enough. Fire, all of you. I'm sick of Micah, man. I'm so sick of that man. Weirdo. Eh. I don't want to use two shotguns. I guess I'll roll in with this. Yeah, we'll do that. Not much further now. Okay, I'm ready. Halfway along, John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? <laughs> God damn it. Well. Everybody mount up! We still going through with this? Of course we are! That's not good. That's really bad. Come on, Arthur! We gotta get on that train! We can jump on at the side! I go. Oh. You okay? Yeah. Money's in the front carriage. We gotta push forwards quickly before we run out of track. You're dead. Okay, it's just me and John. As it should be. No, wait, let's use the shotgun. This is where you die. Ah, get behind. I don't have enough shells. Die. How you doing there, Ooh. I'm okay. You got to push up on him. God. Oh, what the heck, John? You pushed up on me. Ooh. I don't know about you guys, but there ain't no way I'm taking a whole Almost. spray of shotgun shells to my face and getting back up and shooting. <laughs> Ooh. Let's get to the front. Come on. That's it for you. Nice. Look out. There's some on the roof. No one's just sneaking on here. You feel like ditching? Of course not. Let's go, Arthur. Hey, we're going. 
Keep pushing forward! Go to hell! Wait! Come on! Let's get to the next camp! Thought I was gonna die right there. Let's keep moving! Dad, you dumb bastard! Where are Dutch and Marker? I don't see them! Who knows if this was their goddamn plan all along? That's not good. Oof. The shotgun physics in this game has to be the best in any shooter I've ever played. Nothing is more satisfying than the shotgun in this game. <laughs> Straight blind fire. That was nice. Oh, that can't be good. Come on, we can't get through the smoke. Come on, let's go. Jump. Come on. Oh, I need to jump. Oh, Dutch, go. Get going, Bill. That's totally how physics like that work. This is so movie. It's so Hollywood right now. One cup of that gas before it blows you all up. Morning. Ooh, Gatling gun? Let me use it. Made the gun, Arthur. Yeah. Ooh, it's golden too. I'm gonna have fun with this baby. Get ready. Whoa. Oh, no. Ah. Oh, you're going to get lit up like it's Christmas, boy. Stop your job. You protect that money. Expand the gun, Arthur. I'll go stop the train. Stop the train. Whatever you do, do not stop the train. You secure up ahead, but keep us moving. I'll deal with that patrol when they come through. We got a lot of riders on our tail. Whoa. I see him. Look out. I'm not getting in trouble for killing horses now. Hey, one you sure you can handle that gun? Because I can't take over if you want. Just shut the hell up. Hey, we all got to work together on this. Can I flip around? Because I can. Ooh. Look out on the rack! How the hell I get settled with you, little lady? Watch your goddamn mouth! Look I hate this guy. Watch the rack! Why is he so annoying? Look out on the left! Uh, right and left, actually. It's not looking good. Why would you run right in front of a Gatling gun like that? Not very smart. Will you shoot him for cross sakes? For me? Oh. I don't take orders from you. At least get better at shooting. Okay, get off the gun. We need to go for the money. Come on. The money should be in the front carriage. I got the dynamite for it. Okay, quick. It's below a hole. Let's go. The money's in there, Terry. All right. This better blow this thing. Uh. <laughs> how did that happen? Hurry up, partner. We ain't got a whole lot of track left. I think I accidentally hit the uh, left trigger. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Almost blew my boy. Fleet sky high. We got 
something. We got something! Catch! Yeah. Wait, there's more! Morgan! The driver's dead! His thing ain't stopping, and we got to get off! Okay, then! Let's go! Guess we're going. Jump, jump, jump! Uh. I know that hurt. Oh! Oh! Holy! Just about. Well, let's move. Where's John? I tried. What? I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. Yeah, no, you left him done. again. Come on, let's go. Before another patrol turns up. You definitely left him, Dutch. Don't give us that. Again, that's another person he left. I don't know why he doesn't like John so much. I just don't get it. Maybe he sees John as a liability since he has a family and a kid. I don't know. Or he just sees John as the weakest link because John hasn't been able to do anything. Oh, title drop, Red Dead Redemption. It's amazing that this whole game has been Arthur redeeming himself and we're seeing the redeeming part, the redemption. What the heck, man? Sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. No. John's a, well, sorry, son. What do you mean, sorry, Not son? John, she's just bait. Got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You no. know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice, Dutch. It's just a girl. What do you mean? Right. Uh, no, he's not. Uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. Dutch! Come on, boys. Yeah! Well, I guess that's that then. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Yeah. Here's Tilly. Here. Take this. <clears throat> you take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, you hear? All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss... Me too, sweetheart. Me too. Jack, come here. Aw. brave son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler, ride with me. If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. Oh, God, those goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. I hope so. He don't care if he orphans his friend's child so long as he gets rich. All his goddamn talk all them years. Seems like it was always a lie. Or he went crazy. What a mess. Sure. Guess he began to believe he was God or something. He's got a God complex just like every leader. I'm sorry you got dragged into this. Into us. Listen. If you hadn't shown up in my house that night, I'd be dead. Mm. And even this bullshit beats dead. I thought I could find a way to get John 
Abigail and Jack out of this mess. Give them a life. Seems I left it too late. If we could still get Abigail, maybe her and Jack will be okay. John, Hosea, Mac, Davy, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. We have to put an end to this. <coughs> an eagle flies. Another angry fool he used just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need them. We're gonna make this right, me and you together. What's left of it. Now come on. This music makes me feel like everything's gonna be all right. Here we are. Let's ditch the horses and come up with a plan. How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover uh, me. Please. I mean, we could do that. Okay. Sadie has something to prove here. Do your thing, girl. Get she got it. Oh, I thought there would be a ladder, but I guess we got to go inside. Okay, then. Okay, Mr. Milton. Where are you? There you are, you bastard. Mercedes. Looks like one of those German sniper rifles. Shoot him now. All right, here we go. God damn bastards. All right, she's going that way. Oh, they're all shooting at me now. You got this, girl. Oh, there's a guy up there. Yeah, I got you. Move, Sadie. Move. Are they over here? Yeah. Ah, uh, reload. Ooh, that was close. Okay, there's some guys right here. This music's hitting though. Got him. That's it. Keep moving. Oh no. What the heck? No. Okay, Mr. Milton. 
I guess we're gonna have to talk this out like gentlemen. Oh, here we go. One on foot, right there. Oh, he mad. Oh, he mad. Oh yeah? Oh, you're dead now, Morgan. We're gonna kill you one way or another, Ab. No. Don't you take another Shut up. Guy over here. See, you're dead now. Somebody ah! bastard. Got him. Ah! Ooh, he's angry. All right, we're doing great. Come on, come on, Arthur. Ah, man, there's a lot of them. Why are you running at me? What the heck? Oh, oh, his hand got blown off. I know that hurt. You're done now, you idiot. Can't really see this guy. He's right there. Oh, I'm missing. Oh, they're coming up behind me. Come on, Mr. John Wick, aka Arthur Morgan. Let's do it. Got him. <laughs> There's Abigail, though. Okay, ladies, let's get out of here. <gasps> Calm down, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> That's quite a cough. I'll be dead soon. Mm. You with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. <coughs> but I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, yeah, Mr. Okay. Morgan. You should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell? Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell, we picked him up when you boys. Oh came my back. god! And he's been a good boy ever since. He was working with them the whole time. That's why the Pinkertons kept showing up. Arthur knew. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 we got it. So the traitor was. Using your strength, Mr. Oh Morgan. no! Kill a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. No! Uh. <laughs> Abigail, let's go. Bro, Micah, the whole time. Well, not the whole time, but recently. And he was the one trying to fish out the traitor all the time. Come on, both of you. Ever since we came back. Wow, Molly literally 
died for no reason. What happened to Heck, where is he? He's gone. Tilly's got him. Oh, thank God. Well, Milton's dead. Finally. Okay. Shut up, bitch. Get on, Arthur. Get on. Me not riding my own horse? That's wild. You'll be okay. I hope. More coming in ahead on the left. You call yourself man, you put. You see those on our right? Oh, we got to kill Micah. We got to get rid of him. The thing about it is Dutch loves him too much. I don't think he trusts Arthur at this point. I think so. More on the right, Arthur. Okay, okay, okay. They're still coming. Go left here. Stay the hell away from me. Put another one in him. Give it up. It's over. <laughs> you still okay there, Abigail? I'm good. I'm good. Shoot the horses. Shoot the horses. No, you don't. Don't shoot the horses. to John. Where's John? I, I don't know. I think... Arthur. He... What? He got killed or he got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Aww. Listen. We got Jack. He's safe. <laughs> Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. Now, you gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. What? Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat. Before I get much sicker. No, Arthur. Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. <clears throat> You're good women. Good people. The best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. It's all our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. <sighs> Abigail Roberts. I always was a good thief. Aww. Uh -huh. That you was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. For many miles we walk For many things No The building of a shrine Don't do this now. That's the way. 
No. Oh, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before you worked yourself into the grave. Not Charlotte. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. May the wind be at your back. Good fortune touch your head. I'm not ready for this. I'm really not. Cards lay out a strain. All from your command. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. You saved my life. Jimmy. You're a good man. Thank you, fella. You know, there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. Maybe it's a sign, Arthur. Try. Try to do the good thing. How is this gonna happen? Like what what is what's about to unfold here? <sighs> I can't. I guess we're gonna get the money. Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry, we ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. Oh. We all need to have a little chat. Blacklong, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that. You rats. All of you. Seems old Mike was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. <laughs> and you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No, it damn well doesn't. Oh, man. Dutch, think. Dutch, be practical now. Dutch! John? You left me. <gasps> you left me to die. My boy, I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't. You, I didn't have a choice. Aww. Left me. All of you, you pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch, for this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No, you be quiet, Mr. Bell, and put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. Oh, no. No. Who amongst you is with me? And who is betraying me? Well, I'll be here. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying. Put your guns down. God damn it. Move. Oh my god. You ready, John? Yeah. Everyone get down. This, this is a mess. With the Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Put Ross. Down. Down. Put your weapons down. We 
Oh man. This is a fight, let me tell you. Let me guess, Micah running away from the Pinkertons again. Come on, Arthur! Into the caves! Quick! Into the caves? What the heck are we going to do in here? Stay with me, Arthur. <sighs> I'm not ready for this. Left me for dead. Seems that's what they do now. John literally sounded like a like Keep a kid going. when their father left. Michael was the rat, John. Milton Toby. We should have killed him months ago. Come on, Arthur. Max. We had a chance. Are you all right, Arthur? I'm with you. Keep going. Let's go, Arthur. Push. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, man. We're not putting guns anywhere. You go up first. Want me to go up first? I want them out of there now. Can't or alive. <sighs> 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 Holy crap. Abigail. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead Land. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. Oh no. Here we go. Come on, Arthur. There are too many, Arthur. Let's go. Yeah, you're right. Shit. Yeah. Aphrodite's got me. Don't worry about it. Uh. This way, fuck. Excuse me, John. Okay. This way, fuck. Come on. There's an army of these. Sons. Oh man, my heart is racing. Oh yeah. We kind of messed with the government. Oh no, my horse. No. What the? No, no, no. No. Come on, brother. Let's go. No. Give me a second. Come on. Push, Arthur. Come on, Arthur. Yeah. Let's go. Well, what about the money? Abigail gave me the key. I head down there. I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Uh, maybe you're right, but... You want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. We don't Arthur, need the money. Just make the call. I'm coming with you. Yeah. I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit if it's the last goddamn thing I do. Thank you. 
Oh shit! Let's go! We need to find her. We don't need the money. Don't worry about them. They'll just be going back for the money. We need to get the hell out of here. We're gonna kill you one way or another, asshole. This is me and you, John. Come on. We gotta get him out of here. Oh no. Arthur, what's up? Shit. <sighs> well, let's get up this cliff. Here. You go. Come on, Arthur. Keep pushing. No. They're going up the rocks. Come on, you got this. Come on, Arthur. Come on, Arthur. Get behind a rock. I'm trying. I'm trying. God damn it. They're everywhere. Get out. Oh, I'll have my Let's pistols. Come on. Keep going, John. We need to get out of here. All right, Arthur, come on. Let's go. You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. You can't. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them off. <gasps> it would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know. God damn you bastards! No way. What do I do here? Oh, there's a lot. They're all coming up. Got him. Oh, what the? Oh, it's Micah. Rats, you rat. I'm a oh. black lung. Survivor. That's all there is. Living and dying. <gasps> oh. Oh. It doesn't have to be this way. Oh, Black Lung, you don't know how much I long to do this. What? Come on, Arthur, come on. You got this. I've already beaten you. Oh my god. Hope you're ready for hell. Oh my god. Oh. Well, Arthur, you got this. Killed you long ago. Yeah, you should have. No. Oh god. No, no, no. Fool. Come on, Arthur, you got this. Die. Oh. Still got a little fight in you, have you, boy? No, 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 come on. You can get break free. Oh, no. <gasps> Toughest man ever. I'm telling you. This guy is as tough as nails. Come on, Arthur. Oh, come on, come on. Get. No, throw him over the edge. What are you doing? You ain't no man. Come on. There you go. This is where it ends for you. 
Nope. No, no, no. Come on. Ah, this guy can take a punch. I got what I wanted. Jeez. Oh. No. Don't let him strangle you. Come on, block, block, block. 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 Why aren't you blocking? Break free, break free. Come on. Yes. All there is. Winning. <gasps> There's a gun. There's a gun. <gasps> oh my god, no. Oh, black lung. Come on, come on. You ain't gonna reach that gun. You have to. You, ain't. you lost, my sick friend. You lost. In the end, despite my best efforts to the country, it turns out I've won. He has. Sean's okay, Arthur. God damn you. <gasps> it is over. Hutch. Now, Arthur. It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. There, up there on the ridge. Dutch, who do you trust? I gave you all I had. I did. Uh. Uh. Come on, Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. We won. Come on. John made it. He did. He's the only one. Mm hmm. The rest of us. No. But I tried. In the end, I did. Did. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come oh. on, Dutch. Come on. Dutch just left everybody. He left everyone. What a piece of shit.
some years later? I can't play this anymore. That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shooting. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. I gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? There's no Tahiti? way they're gonna keep making Come me on, play. John, please, There's no try. fucking way. We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in in strawberry. What do you know about strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Right. Trying to act like some hero in a book. Oh my god. Heroes in books. My reading's getting pretty good. We'll read different books then. The books is Jack's. And well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Oh my god. They let me pause. They let me fucking pause. I can't save the game though. Oh my god, they're gonna make me keep playing. I just can't. I gotta take a couple days off of this game. Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother with your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, uh, Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. Me too. It was nice to see an older Jack. John doesn't look. It's strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. He doesn't look familiar at all. Time. I guess that's a good thing. He's lying low. Ah. Why don't you pull up just here? I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Good, honest work. <sighs> help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but... Uh... You're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. Mm. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Mm. Yeah. Not Milton. My wife and I and our boy. We was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Yeah, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about Got a it. wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd it, like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. No, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Uh, 
to the doctor's office. Why? Am I still stuck? <laughs> oh, they're horrible for this. I don't got auto save on either. They're horrible for this one. Hey, don't bark me. I am not locked in right now. I'm not locked in at all, y'all. Thank you, doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. What do you suggest now? I'll stay here and get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. That's sweet. <laughs> I'm glad she said that to him. I feel like I haven't seen them like this ever. I like seeing that they appreciate each other now. Load her up pretty good, Milton. Good. You ride slow now. Getty's don't want his goods damaged. Of course. Guys, that was a lot. What an uh, ending to the West final chapter. Owen, Chila, then follow the road north. Okay. You know what they should do? They should definitely remake Red Dead Redemption 1 in this engine. I'd love that. I'm surprised they haven't. Eh, maybe I'm not because Rockstar doesn't seem to be one of those companies that remake games. And I know everyone's tired of remakes, but I do feel like Red Dead Redemption 1 deserves a remake. Like, it's a, it's a fantastic game. It ha it's aged very well. I mean, it's not like the game's horrible or it's the worst game ever or anything like that or it's like oh wait i can't play this game it's so old it's a great game to still play it's a little jank with the controls but i really do feel like it could help them polish up this engine more because they got a good foundation here died. Arthur died. At least we'll now I'll finally get to see how John leads into Red Dead Redemption 1. I think this is like an epilogue or something. I don't know how long it is, but I'm guessing it's a few more hours because um, the original game, I think, had something like this with John. Oh my god, I killed a rabbit. I'm surprised they haven't traveled further. I don't know why they stayed in this area.
My thing is, nothing looks familiar from Red Dead 1 other than Blackwater. I don't really remember all of the towns and cities in the first game. I'd have to look at the map again. But this game is so much of an upgrade that I just, nothing looks familiar to me. Doesn't even seem like the same map. I'm pretty sure it's not. Because the San Denis side was uh, very, definitely very new. All right, we're here. Oh, whoa. I'm here. You Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We'll all work. Big man around, boy? Lancelot. Oh, my God. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> when's uh, boss man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> Oh, I see a horse. That's my damn wagon. <laughs> you ain't getting away with that. Woo! Found him. <laughs> oh. Oh no. I thought I was I was I had like cuz usually you have like a small window to jump on it, but Guess I totally failed that. Oh, there it is. Oh shit! This one's got a stone. Oh. Get off. Hey. Thank you, Milton. Isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. You seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother, he tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. What does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns.
Okay, come on. Epilogue part one. There is an epilogue in this game. Oh my goodness. That's insane. Oh, it freed up. Oh my God. That means I can save. Wait, hold on before we do anything like that. Oh, we can buy new horses. My old missions are still here. Even Jim boy Calloway. What? And Hey, Hamish is still here too. Oh, cool. Well, I guess I can do those. All right. Well, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I am going to take a long break from this game because it just like ruined me emotionally. And I was not there for that entire beginning of the epilogue. So I need to go get some rest. So hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time for more epilogue goodness. Deuces. Hope will never die. Orale.